carcinoma of the lung is the commonest cause of death from neoplasia in industrialised countries. It is commoner in males than females, and the peak ages are between 40 and 70 years. Lung cancer may present with weight loss, cough, hemoptysis, dyspnea, pleuritic chest pain, or metastases to organs such as the brain, bone, adrenal glands, liver and lymph nodes. This is an x-ray of a patient with lung cancer. You can see the tumour on the left side of the hilum. Risk factors for lung cancer include cigarette smoking, asbestos exposure, exposure to radioactive gases, workers in nickel, chromate, arsenic, coal tar and mustard gas industries are at increased risk and patients with pulmonary fibrosis have a higher instance of adenocarcinomas. Tissue diagnosis of lung cancer may be by sputum cytology, pleural effusion cytology, percutaneous needle biopsy and bronchoscopy with biopsy. The white mass is a primary carcinoma of the bronchus. Approximately 50% of lung cancers are squamous cell carcinomas. Other types include small cell carcinoma and carcinoid, adenocarcinoma and large cell undifferentiated carcinoma. Lung cancer may spread by local invasion into surrounding lung, pleury and mediastinum. It may spread via the lymphatics. There may be transcellomic spread into the pleural cavity and hematogenous spread to the brain, bone, liver and adrenal glands. Squamous cell carcinomas are thought to be derived from metaplastic squamous epithelium. They are usually centrally situated tumours close to the carina. They are commoner in males than females and tend to be relatively slow growing and therefore may be resectable. This is the histological appearance of a squamous cell carcinoma. Adenocarcinomas are usually peripherally situated. They may originate in an area of scarring. There is an equal male and female incidence. The four main subtypes are Asana, papillary, solid mucin producing poorly differentiated adenocarcinomas and bronchoalveolar carcinoma. This is an example of a peripherally situated adenocarcinoma. This tumour is a bronchoalveolar carcinoma of the lung. Large cell anaplastic carcinomas are poorly differentiated tumours, usually of squamous or adenocarcinomatous origin. They may be centrally or peripherally situated and have a poor prognosis. This is an example of a large cell undifferentiated carcinoma. The tumour is completely undifferentiated. Small cell anaplastic carcinoma is sometimes known as oat cell carcinoma. It is a highly malignant and rapidly grown tumour, usually centrally located. Small cell carcinomas show neuroendocrine differentiation and are associated with ectopic hormone production. This is the typical gross appearance of a small cell and a plastic carcinoma. This lung biopsy shows an infiltrating small cell anaplastic carcinoma. 
The dark areas are the smudged nuclei of the tumour cells. This tumour has been stained with a marker called CD56. Small cell anaplastic carcinomas show positive staining with this marker. The tumour cells are stained brown. Paraneoplastic effects of lung cancer include finger clubbing and hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy, ACTH and ADH production from small cell carcinomas and PTH production from squamous cell carcinomas. Other lung tumours include metastases, lymphoma, sarcoma, adenoma of bronchial mucous glands, hematomas, lipomas and neurofibromas. This lung contains multiple metastases from a teratoma of the testis.